Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an amazing app known as Gigapixel and this tool is made available by Topaz Lab. Topaz Lab is a, a wonderful company and they actually specialize in creating very crispy looking images. So whether you're thinking about making images or videos and you're trying to get something that would not lose the quality in case of the noise in an image or simply masking the image and doing some artificial intelligence work these guys have these things covered and what we're looking at today is not the sharpen ai which is one of the tools they have not the mask not the adjust not the denoise not the jpeg to raw but the giga pixel ai this is one of their most recent installments of tools that they've created and you can tell from what we have here which is a preview that with the giga pixel you can get a low resolution image and by simply using the artificial intelligence that they have designed for this tool with enormous amount of data that they've used for machine learning you can actually convert a low resolution image to something pretty high and with all of these claims i went ahead to download this tool and today we are going to try this out but before we do that right now they do have a sale which is going on and i kind of felt that it was nice to try this out before i purchase it and on the other hand i also felt it was nice to actually show you guys you know what this looks like before you know i can recommend you guys to go get it if it's something you would like to do first things first this video is not sponsored by them i just found this tool and i felt it was pretty cool for me to share with you guys and today we are going to play with this one so for these two which i have right here i've actually gone ahead to download a couple of sample images so i'm just going to show you those sample images right here and you can see they consist of several things so we have a normal picture that was taken we have a couple of fruits we have a couple of you know creatures and also we have something to test here so we were going to test here with maybe donald trump and maybe this other one just to see how things work right so with all of this said i'm going to start out by trying this with a simple veggie table so let's go through and drag and drop this and one of the promises that they have made is the tool right now actually supports multi or batch processing at the same time we're also going to talk about some of the cons that has to do with this tool and also we'll talk about an online version of this tool so just in case you're trying to work online you wouldn't have to spend you know so much time trying to download this as it takes a couple of minutes for you to get it depending on your internet speed before you can actually get it to work so real quick let's talk about this tool first things first once you download this and you have this right here you would notice that you have a pretty simple UI. So from here is where you can check out how much scale you want this thing to zoom in so that you can see what's going on. And right now, if I simply click this to six, it's going to scale the image all the way to six. And from here, we can see what the quality looks like. So if you want to see what the quality looks like, you can actually do all of that from here. So you can look at this right now. You can tell this is pretty lovely. So if I actually zoom all the way out, you can also notice that we are having some lovely looking, you know, image. But at the same time, because I think because we're dealing with fruit, we are seeing some extra thick black lines all right i know this is not going to be much of a problem if you're trying to compress this image and use it for something else as right now if we go ahead and look at this image at a hundred percent let's simply dial this all the way to 100 you might literally not you know notice something so much but once you zoom very close you can start seeing that we're having some sort of bleeding edge of stuff going around and this is not much of a problem i mean when you zoom this take it to your image editing program and you start working with it you might not really really notice this that much so we can see one more place where the ai technology is taking over and this for me simply works i mean once you zoom this up all the way to this point you can see the original image and you can also see the final image and for the most part you probably don't notice any uh, artifacts or stuff like that because we are zooming this all the way out but if you zoom this right in you might actually notice a couple of things those extra tick border lines and this for the fruit department or for the vegetable department actually works so with this now i'm also going to simply load a couple of images now so let's simply close this and say yes to that and for this i will try out first of all an animal so i'm going to use this which is a very small sized image it is a 322 by 405 and at the same time 
I would also pick the hair. All right, so I would like to try the both of them together since they do have hair. You know, maybe we could try these other ones later. So we can try this now. And actually, while we're doing this, I think it's best we'll bring in these other one for nature. So just in case you're a nature photographer or something like that, we can see that. So I'm dropping the three of them right in there. And let's see the magic that this is going to perform. Once you drop your image, it doesn't really take so much time as this computes way faster than, you know, several of the ones I've found on the internet. One of the very interesting stuff is this is actually working with your GPU. So once you're thinking about compiling or, you know, you're trying to enlarge your image or get something even way bigger, or way better, this actually works. And the fact that this, you know, oppresses your image all the way to 600, really works so once you dial this all the way down you can start noticing that we are actually seeing you know the hair okay so we can see this really really cool previously the gigapixel had a couple of artifacts that you could notice and some of those artifacts actually ran across the image except for things like the whiskers which you can already tell why we're having that problem is because we have some sort of things going on here and you can notice that there this does a very good job at actually getting your images from low resolution to high resolution i would also switch over to the next image so let's see what image do we have here all right so this was the image that was rendered out and it was used to test the blender hair melanin uh you know feature that was coming over to blender 2.8 i guess and my goodness you can tell that this looks really really cool i mean if we zoom a bit backwards let's see you can actually see the strands on the hair and right now you can actually appreciate this even way more right now it simply means that you don't necessarily need to render you know that high quality image anymore you can just render a very small 19 20 10 80 and use an image resizer like this or simply use the gigapixel ai to enhance and actually get the image way bigger you know depending on the variation that you want so i decided to try this with you know the render so just in case uh some cg artists would need this and on the other hand try it with something that has hair so just in case you're creating or you're working with hair you can actually tell that this preserves it and this is pretty pretty nice i mean from this standpoint you can actually tell that you have something really cool that happens here so with this i'm jumping over to the next one which we are going to look at and this is a nature looking stuff for the most part this actually does a good job but for some parts like this so parts that doesn't really have clear pixel translation we're having some sort of rough rendering or you know rough interpretation of what this actually looks like and this once you simply zoom it a little bit out just like that of the fruit you probably wouldn't see but once you're a bit closer to the image you'll be able to see all of those things so what i'm going to do next is just let's simply close this and this time we're going to try out this with a nude character so we already looked at this character before and if you remember or if you've been on the channel for a while now you'd notice that we already talked about from picture to 3d and this was one of the characters that we used i'm simply dragging the body builder and dropping this right here and for this i would like to see what actually happens and let's give it a while to see it processing and this is looking good actually if i move this all the way to a point like this let's see what we get and this doesn't look bad at all actually let's zoom this a bit more and see okay so this looks even way cleaner than what we had before so hopefully if you're into you know photography you're into rendering i guess this is going to do a good job for you let's also look at this test out with the fabric right here doesn't doesn't look bad at all it actually maintained the scar that he had on this leg which is which is pretty decent actually that looks good but for some reason you can actually see we have some interpretations here that looks like a sculpted interpretation all right so it looks like he had this sharp interpretation of a sculpt and you know obviously this is a vein trying to travel all the way down but at the same time once you zoom this a bit backwards you would actually appreciate this image and you know appreciate the work that the ai right here is doing so for anyone who is trying to work with things like this this is you know more like the software which i would recommend i would simply go ahead and you know purchase this and you know i would suggest you guys do the same if this is actually something that you want to do but at the same time if you want to play with this i mean if you want to play with it before you make a purchase you can actually get a 30 days trial which is what i'm using right now there's also some sort of interpretation issue that we're having here and another way to actually fix this is to find an image or you know if you want to use this 
try and get an image that has a much more descriptive looking edges right now i don't think the machine understands what's going on here and that's why it's giving us things like this but for the most part this actually works and if this is also something that you want to try out you can proceed to try this one out i'm going to throw in the female right now so that we can see what it does with the whole female thing and if you take a look at this other side you would notice that we have a face refinement feature so you can choose to turn this off or simply turn this on by default this is turned off all right so i actually went ahead to turn it on something else that you can also do is around this part you could also tell that we have the image type set to natural or man-made and you can simply turn this all the way to man-made and once you turn it to man-made the, the ai becomes a bit aggressive and you can actually tell by the looks of what we have here so if i simply turn this back to the natural you can see it's a bit subtle but now if i turn this right here you can see it's a little bit aggressive on the edges something else to keep in mind is with this here you can also choose to play with the suppressed noise and also the remove blur so if i simply zoom this right in here you can see that we have uh before and after and i can use this to suppress the amount of noise so you can increase this and kind of suppress the noise that you have and this would refine and even give you a much more smoother looking face in our case for the lady we're trying to get that smooth face and if you want to remove some blurry parts you can also use this to actually do that and what this would initially do or what this would do is for some parts that need some definition it's just going to go ahead and define those parts so right now i can also set this to a man-made image and this is going to also do the same then like we talked about earlier for the man-made image this is a bit more aggressive and if you just simply set this to natural it becomes a bit more soft so depending on what you want to do you can simply play with these settings and also get something really cool out of it and this is pretty much about it if you're trying to work with tools that would simply automatically resize your images and try as much as possible to keep the quality intact this doesn't look so bad as it can get the job done on the other hand there is also an online tool which you can use so the next online tool which i would suggest that you can use is right here so it's called the ai image enlarger so for you to get the ai image enlarger working all you need to do is just simply get the image which you want in our case we're still going to make use of the body builder throw this right in here select the type so right now you can actually get a free version of this so in case this is also what you can work with you can also get started with that so i'm going to simply say times two hit the start button and this would process now the differences between you using the ai image and larger and also using the gigapixel is the gigapixel actually makes use of your gpu and it's a desktop app which you can easily access regardless of the internet but the AI image and larger, you would definitely need a web browser and an internet connection for you to actually have this one working. On the other hand, since this is running on some sort of host server or something like that, you might actually wait for it to do all of the processing. And once the processing is done, that is when you'll be able to proceed to getting your image. So regardless of that, this is basically you know the differences and another cool difference while this is still processing another difference here is if you simply go over to the topaz lab let's simply check right here you would notice that the gigapixel by default is sold at 99 dollars but right now they're having a discount so in case you want to get it you can get it at 79.99 which is approximately 80 dollars contrary to what we have with the ai image and larger which is selling at about $14.99 which is $15 per month and this is the set of things that it can offer you or you can simply go with a free version and you know simply stick with things like this so depending on what you're going for depending on what you want to work with you can simply choose either of these and this is basically about it the both apps actually work pretty sane and once this is done all you need to do is just simply hit on the download button and you would have your image right here and you can also notice that due to the fact that we don't have a properly defined edge right here and also within the ear we are also having some sort of artifacts around there but for the most part these tools actually work same and they are pretty much the same thing so depending on what you want to work with you can simply pick on any of them and get started with it so this is basically about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend 
And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.